Kelly's got back from her weekend of gigging, Sunday morning, and we're trying to get to the boat jumble. Do you know what the boat jumble is, kids? No idea! Kind of like a taboo sale with the boat jumble. Yeah, kind of. Pretty much it, Eric. I think you nailed it. I think you have nailed it. it we haven't been to one before. No. It could be the best thing ever. We've got, we've got Kelly's gig cash left over. There'll be a lot of things we didn't know we needed that are going to be tempted to buy. She was panicking a bit. He thinks he's going to miss out on the bargains. I don't even know what I want, but I don't want anyone else to get it. It's just too tense. It's too tense. What? How are you feeling? I'm like up on the, on the edge. It's just like tense. There's so many cars, there's people. Everyone, look at them all. They're all just like hungry sharks. We've got to prana our way in, get the best deals. I don't even know what I want. Absolutely massive kid. 40 quid a pitch. This is again an example of marine. Anything marine, just double it. There's a huge queue and everyone's paying it. So, as a business owner, why wouldn't you do it? Go right. <laughs> We're off. We're off the side. Sorry. Well, they're the same size as the ones I've got, but they're see through. So, rather than having to have a level on the tank, just put these on. You are loving this. It's great. It's really good. Oh, I wish everyone else was here. Oh, I just bought a thing. I bought a thing I didn't know I needed. What is it? Ready? Oh, it's upside down. What's that? Oh, okay. That is quite cool. <laughs> I thought that one would be better. No, I said plastic doesn't corrode and it was so cheap. It was like so cheap, I thought. Like that's that. that cheddar. Uh, just a waste pump for the um, shower out in the beds. I could do easily 60, 70 quid, so I've got it for 15, 24 volt little pump. Win? It's a win. Very cheap paint, but I haven't got the right type. You know the inlet, we had the engine, all that trouble? This is one of those we need for the gen set. But it's 100 quid on that. 100 quid! Oh, that's new. And it was only 20. I was still a little bit low to spend that much, but it's better than 100. Um, well, it's not actually impressive, it's just the most popular pattern number four before a Rubik's Cube. Oh. Using my new bosun's chair to hold on to my, uh, my winnings. Hey, it's Definitely my winnings. Chair. We've got quite a lot of stuff that we didn't know we needed. Have we uh, got opening our own store, Hugh? We've bought loads of stuff. Nothing is, none of this. There's not a single thing that, that we bought that I came here thinking today that we needed. But we do need it. We, well, I said that we did know we wanted to get handheld and our radio, radio, uh, VHF radio, and it floats and it's USB chargeable and it lights up, it goes in the water, and it was about 50% cheaper than it would have been, nearly half the price it was online. So we thought, well, let's just get that. Got loads of Jubilee clips because some guys said a box of Jubilee clips for a couple of quid, and I was like, yeah, right, they'll stay in. I mean, that there is like three quid to buy new. And that's fine condition, so I've just got a load of those. But I wasn't planning to buy a sextant, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Didn't think I needed one of those. And this guy sold us a uh, sea anchor, which is a bit small for Esperance, to be honest, I think. But He reckons it'd be all right. Well, that's because he was selling it to us, Kel. And right. you can tell he was a salesman. Uh, it'd be good fun to test it out and try it and see how much it slows the boat down. We've got some kids sailing gloves, haven't we, Tills? These are mine. This is a proper boatman's chair. Just needs to tidy up and a clean up. And it's got like a little pouch for putting tools in. And the kids this afternoon are going to go up the mast. And this is all the tidal atlas, and it was like a quid, so I just thought sort of get that. See, it's all in French. It's all in French. Yeah, perfect. And then the guy did this, gave us, he sold us the uh, joke, and gave us his chart from when last time he crossed the Atlantic Ocean. He said he's done it eleven times. Wow. And he said, I told him about our plans to go around like Brest and Channel Island and stuff first. And he went, Well, that sounds like a much tougher challenge than going across the Atlantic. Mm. He says he's done it eleven times, and he says it's fun. But yeah, he's got all his markings on for all the times he's done a crossing. Look at that, that's literally the Atlantic Ocean on the chart. That's so cool. So, wow, that's a big chart. It is, yeah, and that's the whole ocean, Tilly. That's what we want to cross. And yeah, he's got his passage. Oh, let's copy him. Yeah, we did the same thing. We went past the uh, uh, Cape Verde here, Canary Islands, down to Cape Verde. And then he went across, which is what we want to do. Look at that, that's cool. That is very cool. Even just because that's someone's history. That's what, that's what I mean. That's just love just to see his story. What are we doing now, Tilly? Uh, Putting up these. baskets. We need to use stainless steel screws rather than the screws that came with it, okay? Uh, Alright, let's go. We're gonna have two baskets. One here and one there. 
And the same on the other side. With the excitement of the boat jumble behind us, we focused our attention on trying to add more storage. On a boat, everything needs to have a place. At the moment, we have stuff everywhere, including all of my kitchen gadgets. Here, we've got this space. I'm in the companion way. There's a chart table here. Um, Kelly wants to keep all her kitchen gadgets in this cupboard here. Uh, this used to have the old batteries in it, the old 12 volt batteries. So the first thing is to get this whole cupboard cleared out. Boom. If only everything was that easy, right? Clean it up, find a cover panel, and then uh, give it a coat of paint, and then Kelly can use that for uh, where she wants to put her kitchen gadgets. Boats are great, aren't they? So I'm just about to cut out this, uh, this rectangular panel here to cover the steering. And I thought I'd just double check before I just went for it, and uh, yeah, perfectly square. Cool, I made a little board there to cover that section. So now I just need to slap a coat of paint on it, hopefully, the paint will stick just about, and then that should be a place where we can store some more stuff. Storage this week's all about putting shit away. I hope you enjoyed that exciting little scene there few minutes of me painting a cupboard. Like and subscribe, don't forget. Right, I'm gonna stick a little bit of heat on this just to accelerate the drying process. A couple of hours time, we can start filling the thing back up again and I can do something hopefully that's a little bit more exciting for you, the viewers. Like, I don't know, my hand washing. There you go, Kelly's cupboard just about finished. All the essentials for sailing, right? Cool. And you can never ever buy any more kitchen gadgets ever again. That's so, it's, so it's a win-win, to be honest. That's the foam trim back. So I'm going to stick a bit of paint on there. And then uh, that's another little bit of storage that we can use for something. Quick storage win. A couple of IKEA uh, clothes rails. I've cut them down to the right size to redraw holes. Put a tiny bit of paint on to uh, protect the bare metal. Stick them up in the four cabin and that's a little bit more storage. For some reason, I can't quite tell you why, but I hung those upside down. <laughs> However, it's not going anywhere. So that'll do. Right, do the one. And that's another tiny little job. It's going to make a tiny little difference to a big old picture. So Daddy's just fixing his bed so um, it's like, because um, he wants bunk, bunk beds, so like when guests are in my bed I can go move in his bed or Darcy's bed or something. So yeah, either Darcy or me will go in Eric's room or Darcy and me will sleep in Darcy's room. So yeah, so what are you doing? Uh, hitting a piece of wood with a hammer. Why? That's it, because that's what builders do. They spend all day just getting bits of getting hammers and hitting things with them. Now he's moving a piece of wood into place. And then he's going to screw it in, right, Dad? Yeah, it's like I'm looking now at the floor in the forward half of the boat. So we're talking about in here, Eric's floor, Darcy's floor, um, and that little patch in Tilly's room. Um, I've got some really nice marine flooring stuff which I bought ages ago uh, to put down here but it's quite, I mean that'll take a couple of days to lay it all properly and another couple of days to put all the trapdoors in. We're talking about to get it all trimmed looking really nice I reckon at least a week's work um, which would be great I want to do it properly however uh, Kelly really likes the idea she saw on another boat uh, they put a carpet down and so when we were in Ikea the other day well, she was she's put this up I don't, know, I don't know how much she paid hopefully not too much but maybe 50 quid or something um, uh, the thing is, I reckon I can get this cut and laid uh, as a rough sort of carpet. It's still looking quite nice and neat and usable and functional in probably a few hours' work. So, the corridor is 241 centimetres long. This carpet is 240. So, uh, I think that's close enough. I have measured it all up. I've not spent a long time on it. I've just done one measure. I'm going to cut Eric. What do you always say, Eric, about measuring? Once. Fingers crossed, if not, we need a new carpet. Shall I go for it? No, because you need to you need to <sighs> measure again. No, I've done it. I'm going to go for it. What could possibly go wrong? Tell you what mm. could go wrong is these scissors 
despite being the sharpest as I own, I'm never going to go through this carpet. Oh, I know. I use my, I use my saw. That's what, whack real, it. that's what real builders do. Just whack it. They use saws for cutting whack carpet. Whack it a bit. <laughs> Definitely what a carpet fitter would do, isn't it, Eric? No. <laughs> they cut it with special scissors. Hey! Look at this. Multi tools are good for a multitude of multi tooling. <laughs> Do the whole thing with a multi tool. <laughs> Mate, you're filming brilliantly. What great shots. Well, I know this is not going to fit perfectly. Do you want to film me putting it in? Uh -huh. Because there's a little cutout I've got to put in. I've got two little cutouts that have got to be adjusted. But... Oh, that's where that was going. Yeah. Ah. So I've got to just put a cutout around that, around that, the mast. Yeah, that's the where mast. the mast is. That can look nice, isn't it? Yeah, so can you cut it out now around the mast? Yeah, and I've got to put a little cut out just at the top here. Yeah. That's a nice, quick, short-term solution, isn't it? So, Daddy. Yeah. Next time you film it, just stay in the camera while all the stuff is happening. Okay, that's a good secret. You should be a film director. Well, Dad's doing all this job and stuff. I'm going to go look up how to pronounce the twenty, the twenty-fourth element of the periodic table. Twenty-fourth. What is that? Um, chrome or chromium. I don't know. Okay. Alright, you go and work that out, little man. The thing I love most about home education is that my kids learn whatever interests them. For Eric, this week, it's the periodic table. I've looked it up and it's chromium, not chrome, chromium. So, I've measured 98 centimetres, Eric. What's element number 98? Um, Californium. And I've got <laughs> this little sword which I found at the bin. A carpet ochre. Yeah. Oh, I can hear a trumpet playing. <laughs> Someone at the stadium. We've done my, we've done my floor, my carpet, and we've done um, the corridors carpet, and as you can see, my bedroom carpet and the corridors carpet are all nice. But look at this, completely bare, completely bare. So that's Darcy's what we're going to be doing now. And Mummy and Teddy yeah. and Darcy are on the way home, so it'd be nice to get it done for them. Yeah. Wouldn't it as a surprise? It's going to be a little surprise. We're racing now because they're already in the car. I can see on Wife Tracker. So we have to hurry. Hope we get it done in time. It fits! Perfect. Perfect. Look at that. It looks really smart. Wow, it's amazing how this quick thing does make a big difference, isn't it? It's too late! No, you've got to come this way. Come this way, Daddy. Oh, this way. Everyone come into the living area. Come down. <laughs> no one looking, wait there. We're not looking, we're not looking. Right. You can look now. Take your shoes off, Tilly Billy. <laughs> cool. Wow. Time to finish off Tilly's one. That is so smart, though, isn't it? Doesn't it just look? Doesn't it just make Dance it all so lovely? Darcy's fitted the most perfectly. They haven't quite finished yet. I've got to cut out a bit more. Doesn't it just look so much, you know, like homely? I know. It looks way better. No shoes on the carpet. It's gonna be another one of Mummy's rules coming in now. No shoes on the carpet. It's so cool, isn't it? <laughs> nice. Piece of that. That's all the waste we've got from one piece of carpet. Me and Eric did some good tessellation. What are we up to, Tails? We're putting the netting around the boat so it's safer. Dad. Why I wouldn't let you cut it open. This is the go this is the cable tie trick. I think it was Andy that taught me. And what you do instead, I think it was Andy. Mm -hmm. A little bit like that. And every time you want one, mm -hmm. take it out like that. And then it's spill everywhere. Saw a meme yesterday. It was like, it's like, it was the old sort. Of what my friends think I do, and what I actually do. Friends think I do just some guy with a load of girls in a bikini on a yacht in the sun. And then it was a uh, what I actually do. It was a man with just like completely contorted it. His head is head stuck in an engine room. Yeah, here I am, but we're putting up some netting. So this we're really conscious about uh, moisture getting into things we're storing uh, and airflow. So on this boat, every time we store something, every time we've got a locker, we're drilling loads of holes in it to make sure the air can flow through. I actually want to put a load of 12-volt fans all around the boat as well to force air around. Maybe turn them on for 10 minutes every week. 
just to change the air so our things don't go mouldy and rotten. But also, always leftover netting um, from the top sides. We don't need it all. I'll get it with loads and loads, very kind of him. And I'm going to pin all this up inside these lockers. So even if it keeps the items in here, just a centimetre off the bottom, just gives a better chance of some air getting around whatever we put into these lockers. I don't know how well it's going to work. It's definitely a bit of an idea. It's a weird, horrible shape. Uh, storage area anyway, so it's just going to have a couple of bags full of sheets, probably bed sheets, that sort of stuff. But yeah, it might go some way towards just letting a little bit more air get around the bags and keep everything from uh, getting uh, getting mouldy. Thrilling moments arrived when we're going to put a uh, put a bag inside the locker. Are you guys ready for this? It's thrilling. It massively reduces the amount of space we've got to store in here, but it does stop things being cramped up. Is it a good thing? Who really cares? Oh, hello there. Didn't see you. We're just having a bit of a tie up today because this place is a shithole. <laughs> Toodles. Also, we're expecting a royal visit. My parents are due to arrive any moment, so we are making sure that at least we look like we know what we're doing and we've got it under control. It's not enough time. We haven't got enough time to sort this, <laughs> this, this, this out. Just need to <laughs> make it look a little bit more presentable. They're going to, they're going to come back next year, Kel. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Ganger! Look at that! Ganger! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Look at that. That's really nice. I do like the view. Now, this is a view, Paul. It's an interesting view as well, isn't it? Ganger, that's the thing you thought there was a crocodile. That's squid. Oh, no! I love the sea air. It was so nice to have our first guests over, especially as we've been dreaming of using this outdoor space to entertain since we first saw the boat. When we lived on the barge, after dinner entertainment was always a dinghy ride down river. So nothing's really changed in that respect. We hope this is the first of many visits from everybody that we know. This is what we love most, having people over, sharing some food and enjoying the scenery. into bed but I can hear this very strange noise it sounds like a, um, a bit like wind like you know like in a west move wild west movie <sighs> empty wind going across the desert it's coming from a wait let me point to it there it is from that building over there I don't know what the capacity is maybe like ten to thousands twenty thousand and that thirty thousand but yeah, 30,000 people shouting. And where are we are? Oh, there you go, something just happened. Like, this is a world we know nothing about. I went to a few football matches as a kid, just you know. But anyway, to a lot of people, something going on over there that really matters. And that is what life is about taking your own path, going on your own journey, and enjoying all the things that matter to you.